Hi everybody, this is Chris. Today we're going to make a one brick forge. Uh, this is my old forge. You can see the burner port is way back here. And what I really want for these smaller knives is something where the burner port's just about an inch or so away from the opening. So since this is the first foray uh, into video for this, I'm also going to show the difference between a soft brick and a hard brick. And really the only tool we're going to use is a flathead screwdriver. The differences between the two, hard brick and soft brick, uh, they're both available through places like Seattle Pottery Supply. Uh, that's where I get mine. Um, they're local to me. Uh, soft brick, when I go to dig in the end here, you can see the screwdriver pretty much goes right in. It starts making a hole. No problem. The hard brick no such luck. So these are great for building uh, the openings of your forge, for building forges. Um, very sturdy for long-term use. But for something that needs to be shaped, the soft brick is definitely the way to go. And frequently you'll run into pockets or hollows in these. This is a uh, recycled brick from another project that didn't quite work out. Those of you that have been on the website, alchemyforge.net, uh, you'll see the Pizza Box Forge, which was a uh, was an attempt to make a forge that would do larger rings, and that didn't really pan out. So I'm just going to keep twisting and pushing and twisting and pushing until that's it. I am out of room here, so we're in that deep. I'm going to do a second hole because we do want the opening to have sort of an oval shape to it. This um, it does help distribute the fire better than just a round one would. Um, also, you'll see that this is very small and you're not going to do a lot of work with a quarter inch opening. So, a little off camera work here. We're just going to sort of chisel this out. And <clears throat> this brick dust comes in handy for projects like lining a forge. Uh, you can mix it in with your ash if you're using ash in like a Tim Lively style forge, basin forge. And you can see how soft the brick is, that just the pushing action actually broke the brick um, right along here. That's kind of okay, because like I said, we wanted a smaller opening or uh, less depth. We really just wanted the, the burner port to be an inch or so from the end. So I'm going to go ahead and just kind of, this however is not okay where the brick just completely crumbles. That doesn't work. So this one however, and again this is a recycled brick. Um, it's had several heat cycles on it. Um, they build up stresses inside uh, the original or my original fire brick forge over there has wire wrapped around the outside specifically to prevent uh, this sort of cracking and breaking because it does happen so not surprised we'll just keep using this one See, there we go, this one broke off again. So, for the side port, yes, we're going to give up on that brick. That's all you do. Just coming right at the side here. So, this is still 
potentially a, uh, a usable one brick forge for a very small work. We're actually going to give this a try here, provided it doesn't disintegrate on us. Scrape it out. So there we have the burner port. Here we have our trough below the burner port so that our pieces will stay out of the way. <clears throat> Wall this out just a little more and we'll give it a test firing. Now again, as I mentioned, the one brick forge that I showed at the beginning of this video has wire wrapped around it um, to help uh, to help hold the bricks together. So, so that's close enough for now. An opening that's possibly suitable for what we're going to need. There's the burner port and we'll go ahead and just give it a try with this little piece of uh, 3 16 First thing we do is light our propane burner here. Uh, any plumber's torch will do. This one used to have the piezoelectric automatic start, but anymore we need to use the little striker. Put the opening inside the burner port. Lucky for us, we happen to have a couple pieces of brick to rest that on. And you can see immediately the inside of the forge is glowing an orangey yellow, uh, which is a great temperature for most blacksmith forging. Maybe a little hot for knife work. Um, so you'll just have to keep an eye on that and be extra careful. Take it out, it's getting red. I don't know if the camera picks that up. It's sort of an, uh, a dull red color. One thing that is nice about having a small, small forge like this in addition to its portability, um, is that it will only heat probably an inch or an inch and a half at a time. So if you do decide this is something that you want to use for knife making, um, you'll only be heating a small section of the blade, which is about as much as you can work in a given heat anyway. Um, you see videos, uh, mostly in the movies, of blacksmiths taking uh, swords out of the forge that are red down their entire length, that's not really realistic because they're only going to be able to work two or three inches of that sword in that heat. So this is much better. Hopefully the camera's picking this up. We have bright orange in here, duller on the ends. So we're going to put this off to the side and see how it does on something a little larger like 5 16 This is about the size that you might run into for rebar. As you move these pieces in and out, they'll scrape away bits of the brick. So if you're always working this 5 16 what'll happen is eventually you'll wear a 5 16 groove out of the end. And here we go, 5 16 orange hot. I'm not sure how hot the center is. We leave it in for a little bit longer and we can be guaranteed that it's hot all the way through so that when we take it over to the anvil, uh, the entire piece will, uh, will move under the hammer we're not working against a cold core, but for a proof of concept, I think this works. And uh, some of you may not like having the propane uh, burner laying on its side like that. I'm okay with it. That's what I do. Do what you're comfortable with. If you need to make a stand to get this up so you can put the propane in at a more natural standing angle, then I encourage you to do so. At all times, I encourage you to be safe when you're working with this. This is obviously very hot. Um, this will burn you. This will burn wood. Um, I hope you have concrete floors or are working on a dirt floor in your shop. Um, good luck. Happy forging and stay safe. Thank you.